hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is robin if you're new here today i'm going to be talking about school specifically college now i know like i'm one of those people as soon as i see the back to school commercials depressing i don't know what that is but just it just makes me think about school and being a kid and just remembering how i felt going to school and coming home and having to go back the next day it was just like the worst thing ever but we got it done so today i'm going to be talking about transitioning into a freshman year of college now me personally i'm going to give you a little bit of background um about my journey my college journey and then i'm going to give you 10 really important things that you need to remember um, if you're going to college, if you're in college, if you're thinking about college, it doesn't matter what stage you're really at. Um, that's what I love about college is that it doesn't matter how old you are, these tips will help you. So I'm from New York City, so a lot of my topics might be like New York related, um, still apply it to where it needs to be applied. So that's that's an important thing you need to know how to do. But college will teach you how to do that. Apply things where they need to be applied. It's an important skill. So for me, the first thing I'm going to talk about is when I, my freshman year of college, I am way past my freshman year of college. So when I, when I graduated, I got accepted to Howard University in Washington, D.C., um, I decided to go with that school. I got accepted to, so the application process, number one. So number one is you have to apply to your local colleges, your CUNYs, you have to apply to your SUNYs, and then you have to apply to your private colleges. So depending on financially where you're at, you'll pick your private colleges, you'll pick all your colleges accordingly. Now, I will say something that's very important. Make sure, make sure, make sure you do your FAFSA and make sure you do your TAP because those two things will get you the grants and the scholarships and the money that you need to go to school and to be able to survive college, like for real. One thing about it is that it's very hard to be a young a kid to me 18 is still a kid and to be a young kid and transition just into college from high school please you just finished getting allowance now you have to like set your life up it's a joke so i think fast forward tap very important to do if you go to a school that has eop make sure that you apply for eop immediately um eop will help you throughout your suny career and um, any other private colleges that accept it. CUNY does not have EOP, if I remember correctly. So they have their other programs. Unfortunately, I did not benefit from those programs while I went to CUNY, but still take full advantage of SEEK, um, TAP, whatever it is, make sure that you get it. And make sure that you apply for EOP because once it's time to apply to EOP, I remember when I applied to all my SUNYs, then the EOP applications came out. And if you don't get it during your freshman year, it's your chance completely and you cannot qualify for it after that, after freshman year. So, and if you're going to be in college for four years, that really sucks. So, EOP, that's my first, that's my first tip. Make sure you apply for EOP. Make sure make sure not any other program EOP yeah so moving forward I did not benefit from those programs because I went to Howard University I decided to go to that school that school is fifty thousand dollars a semester so that was a big mistake of me to make and when I got to Howard the vibes socially it was cool I met some girls we had some fun it was a vibe I could see it but academically, I just felt like, why am I paying $50,000 to do prerequisite classes that I can be doing at a cheaper school? Like, these are just basic classes. So I decided that was not going to work out and I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to afford this school long term. It would never work. So 
I ended up moving back to New York City and going to CUNY. Okay, so I really, I had to wait because by time August, that August when I left to go to Howard and I came back two weeks later, um, I had to like wait because classes were starting. So I had to make sure I could get into the school. Unfortunately, I had to wait a semester to get into school and that really just made me so sad. Um, so I had to wait a semester. So I ended up going to Brooklyn College and it was so far from where I lived and such a commute and the college was really rough at the time. Like the classes I was taking, I remember I had an English class and no matter what I got, what, what paper I wrote, I just kept getting a C, C, C. Now I do not write C papers, so that's another thing that you really have to be mindful of the type of school you're going to and the professors rate my professor is a real thing make sure you read up on your professors before you enroll into their classes and if they are not available on the site um make sure that if you're taking their class that you withdraw within the withdrawal period so that you don't lose your financial aid and you just would receive a W for withdrawing from that class instead of a D or F or whatever the case may be. So I had a bad experience there, ended up moving around a lot, um, waited the semester, ended up transferring to City Tech, went to City Tech. I majored in chemistry because I was pre-med, spent two years there, got my associate in chemistry, had all my prerequisites for med school, everything, but now it's time to get my bachelor's. Um, so at the time, they did not have any bachelor's programs for me, so I would have to go to another CUNY. I ended up going to City College, went to City College, got my bachelor's in psych. I really enjoy psychology and just, you know, learning about people and analyzing people and analyzing data research all of that I just love it so much so I decided after taking my MCAT and like pff, getting the lowest score um I didn't have prep I think I should have had some prep that would have been very useful but that's why it's important to plan and be passionate about what you want and be honest with yourself like what do you see yourself doing for the rest of your life because it's gonna take time to get there so you don't want to waste your time so I decided that I will continue my education in psychology and go on to receive my master's. So that's where I'm at right now. I have my master's in psychology and I hope to continue the journey. Now, as far as tips, I made a lot of mistakes and I just had to like kind of roll with the punches and do the best I can at the place I was at. So that's pretty much what I did, but it was an all a good experience and I learned a lot and um, I'm happy that I went to school because I don't know I'm just one of those people I probably would have wanted to go to school anyways so I didn't feel like it was a waste of my time and I did something that I enjoyed and I did something that mattered to me and I think that's my second tip um, do something that's really special to you do something that you enjoy People say that, you know, work is not fun, school is not fun, but it can be. So don't fall into that. Like, go to school for something that you enjoy. Yes, you have to be a student, and academia can be challenging, but you can do something that you enjoy and something that you love and something that won't make you sick um, doing it in school. Because what's the point of that if you're just going to get <clears throat> excuse me if you're just gonna get sick and burnt out um before finishing college what's the point so I think you really do need to have something that is enjoyable for you and something that you can do almost effortlessly so that's something that I felt like I did and that's something that I would recommend that incoming college students and current college students do I mean career changes happen life happens so you just want to always be like reevaluating yourself and asking yourself like hey so what do you want to do like 
because you can really just waste your time <laughs> and you don't want to waste your time or your money or your energy because energy is the most expensive currency don't waste it next thing i would say is to maintain a part-time job um that's not something that i did so i would say maintain a part-time job if you don't have to take out any loans to go to college do not take out any loans if you could apply to grants and scholarships and financial aid take full advantage of that and try to get a free ride through college because the resources are out there and you need to use them fourth we're up to the fourth thing i would say use your school's resources sometimes you can miss things because you just simply don't know they're available but use your time wisely and whatever resources your school does have see what you qualify for and use the hell out of it use it use it use it when you can i don't care if it's the gym use it just use it so that's what it's there for for you to use because i promise you you're paying for it some way somehow the next thing i would say is to be mindful this is like this should be number one even though it's number five but it should be number one be mindful of the company that you keep because in college like people you will have so many friends especially if you're taking classes everybody wants to be in class everybody wants to pass people are going to be your friend people are going to pretend to be your friend you're going to meet some really good people and you're going to meet some really bad people stay away from toxic people stay away from bad company and stay focused on your goal and stay focused of what you're trying to achieve while in school because remember this isn't elementary school this isn't high school you're paying to be there you're paying in every way so you need to act like it and you need to not waste your time or get distracted by people because the distractions are there and they come in many forms so stay focused because when graduation time comes nine times out of ten you're going to be moving on and people are going to be moving on with their lives so don't get sidetracked or distracted to the point where you're falling out. You're, I mean, you're dropping out or because you fail classes or you can't keep up with your studying because you're partying or whatever the case may be. Stay away from toxic people. Stay away from things that don't fill you back up and don't add to your value, if that makes sense. If it takes away from your value completely and doesn't add anything to you, you need to leave it where you found it. And that's it. Next thing is take advantage. Just kind of goes with the resources thing. But number six is take advantage of your school resources, any organizations. Um, for me, like research programs was something I was really into. Be a part of some organization because what happens is if you're just focusing on school, you can kind of like, I don't know what to call it, but... To be social and to like gain experience to your resume while you're in school, because that's a big chunk of your life. Um, join an organization that you enjoy. Have a creative outlet. Um, do something that makes you happy. Do something that, you know, can add to experience and can help you grow. Yeah, so I think that's important. Um, especially that creative outlet, have a creative outlet like all the time in college and after because you kind of need that outlet to help you progress and to help you move forward. You can't just be focused on books. I really just don't think that's how you achieve what you need to achieve in college. And uh, number seven, um, books. When it comes to books, don't buy them books. <laughs> Do not buy them books for full price. Try to rent them if they're at a less price. Um, what I noticed, like when I went to Brooklyn College, a lot of the professors had like these loose leaf special books that they made and printed and they wanted you to have and that you had to buy from the school library. You're going to have some of those, but when it comes to like an actual textbook that you can find online, look for it online do your research i don't if you have to pay some money to find that book online do it not don't pay them outrageously i'm also going to offer a service like that um 
I will find your textbooks for you. And you should not have to. I'm one of those people. I used to like to read from the real textbook. But, like, let's be real. You cannot carry that all day. And times have changed. So I could imagine you need to be on your phone or your laptop or your iPad. So save your money and do not buy expensive books. Rent them and look online for them. Utilize the internet because we are living in the era of the internet. Next is number eight. What will I say? Um, I took some notes in my phone. Um, where did they go? Hmm. When it comes to food, food is important. We need that to survive. Don't eat unhealthy. I know, like, in college, especially my freshman year, like, people say freshman 15, but for me, I barely ate. Like, I was so busy running back and forth to college classes. By the time I got out for lunch, I would eat one thing, and then I'd probably go home and eat dinner. But try to maintain a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet. Try to maintain working out, exercising, and staying healthy because your body is a temple. Not like so. You need your body to, you need your body. The body is the mechanic. So you need to be functioning well, eating well, sleeping well, and keeping your brain strong so that you don't just, like, get fried, like, during college. Because storing that information, I feel like you're like a computer. And if you're not constantly, like, cleaning your computer and taking care of your computer, if you're just, like, throwing it and rubbing grease all over it, is gonna like you know break so you don't want to do that to your body if that makes sense maintain a healthy diet maintain a healthy diet maintain a healthy lifestyle it's really important (laughs) number nine procrastination college is no place to procrastinate me personally (laughs) i'm the biggest procrastinator i am the biggest procrastinator but listen it takes one to know when I will get it done and I, I will more than do it. I am like always working on it in my head and it's not a joke. So if you're not skilled in a certain area, give yourself time, give yourself practice and do not procrastinate. When a chapter is due, make sure you're reading it a week prior. You got the syllabus. You're supposed to be ahead. Don't fall behind. Like, it's really important. Like, you want to always, like, be ahead. Not even on time. You want to be on ahead. Attendance, you don't want to just be on time. You want to be in class, outside of the classroom, at least 15 minutes earlier than the actual time the class starts. Because so many things can happen, I promise you. So, no procrastination. We're giving ourselves time because we like we like uh, to have a calm mind. This is a time. It's a very crazy time in life. A lot of mental health issues happen during this stage of life. So you have to be delicate with yourself. And that's just being honest and real. You have to be delicate with your mind. And you cannot let it. You cannot break down. You cannot break down for the sake of college. You have to, like, stay on top of things. But give yourself time. And do not fall behind. So I think it's really important not to procrastinate because we're going to eliminate that whole word altogether. Just give yourself patience. Give yourself some grace. And just try to give yourself time to study and to complete your work and to attend school. And... um is that number nine? Number ten. Oh my god. Attending school, that's a that's not even gonna I'm not even gonna go there. Like if you, <laughs> you shouldn't even be watching this video. Nah, let me <laughs> attend school. Attend school, don't waste your time. Attend school or don't waste your time. But seriously, number ten is I know this is a difficult time in life, but it's also probably so fun. So you want to take yourself seriously, but you want to have fun. And that's why I think it's important to do something that's enjoyable and that brings you joy and something that is easy on your mind. Because there's no reason to be carrying more than you can handle. Like, no. 
So that's what I have to say about college and my college journey. I'll probably do some more videos like this because I'm, I feel like I'm still a student. So, and that's another thing. Make sure you use your student discounts on everything outside of school, in school, when you're shopping, be on uni days. Um, what's the other ones? I can't remember them, but use them. Use that student discount and get your stuff. Get your coats, get your boots. If you live in New York City, prepare for winter because winter classes are the worst. Like spring semester, they call it spring semester. So you think you're going to be out there like in a nice spring, but no, it's long. It's from January to May. You know, it's the longest semester ever. My favorite is fall semester and summer semester in and out, in and out. So you have to do what works for you. Um, and you have to register for classes that work for you and don't schedule an early class if you know you like to sleep in late, obviously. Like, don't do it to yourself. If you can take advantage of a summer class, take advantage of the summer classes. Why do it in the spring? But that's all I have. I hope I didn't miss anything. And I'll thank you. Thank you all for watching and listening to me. I wish you much success through all your future endeavors and your college journey. You got this and I'll see you all in my next video.